all right guys these are two ream systems that i installed we've had troubles with this one uh this one has had a compressor put in it and now the reversing valve is out so and it has a freon leak on a factory solder joint down there on the bottom of that manifold so we got to fix a freon leak and replace the reversing valve today all right if you look right here there we go it's leaking all right so we're getting ready to unbraze the hot gas line off the bottom and then start working on the top ones I'm going to go ahead and fix this Freon leak, though. Golly. There we go. Boy, that was a whew. this is where it gets fun when you start doing these top three so now I need to put my channel lock on the bottom and work I got to work all three of them simultaneously to try to pull this thing off Oh, I know. Oh, you know. Oh, you know. Oh, you changing these damn things. Mm -hmm. Alright, we got the new valve in place. We're going to put some heat on it, tap these down, and weld them. Braise them, whatever you want to call it. Mm. 
All right, guys, I'm sorry I skipped a few steps. I got busy and wasn't paying attention and forgot to turn the camera on. But we are, we got the jug hooked up. I'm looking for the panel. Oh, I see it. Wait, this, this is the same one. I can look on here. This one holds, I think it was right at 10 pounds. No, I'm sorry, right at seven pounds, okay. Zero the scale. All right, so we're adding gas to the system and then we're gonna start it up. That Freon leak, uh, it lost all its charge. We changed the filter dryer, which is located in the attic. I was, I, you know, when I went to the attic, I thought I was filming myself changing the filter dryer. And when, when I went to turn the camera off for recording i turned it on after i was done changing it so i apologize about that but uh sometimes that just that happens you get busy and you get caught up all right but we're charging all right our repair is successful Still adding charge. I'll test it in heat mode here in a minute just to make sure, but we're looking good. All right, guys, that's it for this one. So like I said, about a month ago, we changed the compressor. The reversing valve was fine. It was shifting, my pressures were good. Everything was great. The compressor went out on lock rotor amps. It wouldn't start. We tried a hard start, wouldn't start. We put a new compressor, everything was fine. Came out the other day, sounded like uh, rocks in a can. That's what the compressor sounded like. I see it just cycled off. So uh, I came out and the reversing valve was sticking. And we had that Freon leak down there that I showed y'all. It's shifting beautiful in heat and cool mode heat and cool mode the pressures look good everything looks good now hopefully he doesn't have any trouble with it anymore this is the identical three ton that has never been touched we've never had trouble with it this one we've put in a compressor and now a reversing valve so hopefully he won't have any more trouble with it but that's it for this one thanks for watching y'all we'll see y'all on the next one